morning uh, and welcome to uh, our all age service as we were just praying thinking yes and we have have all ages <laughs> um, but then we always have all ages in church which is lovely um, so notices uh, just uh, really to say uh, if anybody would be interested in helping out with teas and coffees at the farmers market I think we've got the next two months covered uh, but we still have some gaps available. It's a great opportunity to reach out to the community. So please uh, sign up on the notice sheet uh, that's next door. Um, other than that, welcome to anybody that's listening online or catching up. Um, and uh, we hope you uh, enjoy the service uh, with us today. Um, with that, any other notices, anything else that I've missed? Nope. Welcome back to people who went to Gifted. Well, indeed. Welcome to those from Sizewell. Ant, what an introduction. Do you want to go and say a few words about Sizewell? So, so that's a suitable bit, is it? That's all the next thing you get. Yeah, so we're, we're, we're back. Um, and um, after a, quite a, well, I'm, I'm exhausted. Um, but, um, yeah, so we had a re really, really good week. Um, it was it was nice to uh, have um, all of the people here from the from the BBC go up and whatever too. I think the biggest thing uh, for me this week was um, uh, to see that Howard and Anne and George and Maureen and Frank um, just looked as though they were having a really good time. They were either putting on a great act or it was quite genuine. Um, <clears throat> but I think for me this year it was probably the hardest I've had to work. Um, so I've done it four times now, um, and, um, but I also think that this year um, there were a few changes, which I'll talk to you about in a minute. Um, the fellowship seemed to be really, really good and whatever as well. Everybody had a relaxing time and whatever, and they got involved with all of the activities and whatever. There was no competitiveness at all, was there, Howard? <laughs> no, none at all. <clears throat> um, it was slightly different uh, this year because we would normally try and get somebody to come and preach for the week. Um, and we would also uh, try, uh, what's the other thing? I don't know, it'll come to me in a minute. Um, and we would try and get somebody in to do this. Oh yes, the Songs of Praise on the Sunday, we, we would sort of get somebody in to, to, to do this. And I think you know, in trying to go and go into the organisational meetings before the actual week, I think God was clearly telling us that that wasn't going to happen this year because nobody really came forward to do the songs of praise and there wasn't anybody obvious really to do the preaching. So I think the lady who organised it um, basically wondered whether or not the talent for that may lie within the team. And indeed that's what happened. So we had um, various people giving the word um, in the morning for the morning service. Um, I led once, um, you know, which was really good fun. Um, and, you know, so the preaching was done, including all ranges. So there was a couple of 20-year-olds. Eli Bailey, he, he did one preach and whatever um, as well. His girlfriend did a, another, another morning too. And it just seemed to work really well. The lady who does all the cooking in the kitchen did the songs of praise. That went really well and whatever as well. So I think it taught us a lot. Um, but, yeah, it was good. And there was somebody that you know quite well... Um, sang a duet with um with one of the ladies there and i don't know who he is um but um yes uh, but it was uh, something that i'd never done before but 
it gave me a lot of pleasure actually doing that and um, you know the feedback that you get and whatever it was, it was really good and whatever as well so it's going to happen again next year so if anybody over 60 wants to come then just let me know okay thanks very much <coughs> So I just open in prayer. Father, we thank you for this time together. Father, we thank you for the sunshine and the warmth. We thank you for our family here today, Lord, and the many blessings that come from that. Thank you, Father. Amen. Mike. Let's stand to sing our first songs.
So I hope you're all uh, feeling bright this morning. It's yep. quiz time. <laughs> so Andy, do you want to just put the, uh, the first photograph up? Okay, so the quiz is, you've got to spot the connection, okay? You've got to spot the pattern here. Okay, so that's, that's our first photo, lovely, lovely collection of folks. Next one. And the next. I didn't say it was going to be easy. <laughs> and the next. Anybody got any ideas yet? The dog all in the first one. All one family, I've heard that, yeah? The dog in the first one was Rover. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> I think we'll stay with the connection on family, so keep going. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Okay, we'll just pause on that one a moment. Oh, oh. <laughs> are these all your descendants? They are all my descendants. descendants. They are all ancestors. Ancestors, <laughs> family. This is actually part of our family tree. So uh, the gentleman there uh, is actually my grandfather. He worked for Aden Airways in the, uh, the 50s and early 60s. And then there's my uncle next to him and my mum next to him. So that one's taken out in Aden. Next one. It's my mum. <laughs> there we go. And the next? One on the left or the one on the right? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, um, so there we basically got it's my granddad, uh, and there's all the grand, or great grandchildren there. So yeah, and next one. Of course, that's me with Alex just a few years ago uh, outside the school, and the next one. That's actually was at my uh, my mum and dad's golden wedding. Um, so uh, a selection of the family there, and the next one, there you go, it's about the most up to date, of course that's our 30th wedding anniversary this year, um, so that's, uh, that's how we look now, so yes, well done, family, they were all my family, all right, so keep the brains going, Vanessa could you be scribe for me, pens are up there, on the web here, yeah, so, you know, with, you, when you, if you've only played any of these things on the computer where basically um, you put lots of words up and they, they form this nice pretty pattern or whatever, these what they call word clouds. Well, we're going to do this old school, we're going to do word cloud on a flip chart. <laughs> with any luck. <laughs> <laughs> Mike's looking at me going, it'll never work. <laughs> okay, so, when we think about family, Okay, try and think of single word answers. What do you think of when you think of family? Love. Love. Do you want to write up love for this? No. No. Love. What other things do we think of in family? Together. Together. Yeah. Just, no, I'm not crossword. You can go crosswording if you like. It's just basically, yeah, it's going to make a nice pattern together. Anything else? Together? Children. Sorry? Children. 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 What else? Generations. Generations. Can't guarantee you're going to be with this. <laughs> Generations. What else do you think of when family? Parents. 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 What else? Unity. Unity. I like your family, unity. <laughs> <laughs> unity. What else? Change. Change. Yeah. We saw lots of changes up on those photos over the years. Change. We haven't changed a bit. <laughs> Change, that. Sorry, no, change. What else? Commitment. Commitment. I like that one. Change in commitment, Vanessa. <laughs> what else? Celebration. Celebration. Yeah. 
celebrations. One of those, I think, was a, a photo of my, I think, of, uh, I think it was actually one was after my mum had been christened. Celebrations. What else? Support. Support. Good one. Yeah. Sometimes emotional, sometimes financial. Good old bank of mum and dad. <laughs> Con well, connection. So, connection. Connection. Anything else? Diversity. Diversity. That's good. Sorry? <laughs> Diversity. So everybody's, everybody's being very kind about their families at the moment. <laughs> I haven't heard arguments or <laughs> disagreements. Yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> not, not just us then. So, sorry? Home? Homework. Homework, yeah. <laughs> Anything else that's, that, that you think of when you think of family? Food. Hard work, yeah. Food, oh I heard food. Yeah, we have food and hard work. Sadly, funerals. Funerals, indeed. <coughs> Blended. Sorry? Blended. 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 Splendid. Splendid and blended. Depends on your family. Though. Yeah. Okay. Support. Sorry? Support. Support. I thought we had, we've got support. Somebody yeah, we've got support. Yeah, yeah. And I said, written that one down. We've got support. All right. So those are the things we tend to think of when we, when we think of families. All right. So now we're just going to have a, another little game because uh, we've been sitting down for far too long. Um, so <coughs> I want you to stand up, okay, if You've been given a birthday present or a Christmas present by anybody in the church. Anybody in this church. Has anybody got a birthday? Oh, look. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's it. Okay, so we've, we've been giving one another presents. <laughs> okay, great. <laughs> You'd forgotten. You see, Trev gave you a birthday present, didn't he? <laughs> Uh, right, okay, fair enough. Okay, how about stand up if you've been on holiday with somebody in the church? Anybody been on holiday with somebody else in the church? Yes, yeah, size well. Yes, yeah, size well, of course, nice holiday. Size well, okay. How about uh, have you been on a day trip away with anybody in the church? Spent time together with a day trip? All right. Um, why don't you stand up if you've had a meal with anybody else in the church? Because we've got food up there, haven't we? I'm sure food came up. Yeah. yeah. Stand up yeah. yeah. How about if you've had a hug from anybody in the church? Oh, you've got to stand up now. Yeah. If you can't stand up, don't worry. So, yeah. Okay. So, how about if you've been prayed for by anybody in the church okay how about if you've been lent anything yeah okay so when you look around of course oh good on you George now you've had your hug hey <laughs> so like okay when you look around I've just picked things that we associate with family eating together giving of presents, going on holiday together, going out on day trips together, giving a hug, all of that support, praying for one another. And you look around the church and you think, everybody's standing up. Because the way we behave as a community is very similar to the way that families behave with each other. We are a family. And with that, you can sit down. <laughs>
the one you can hear me. Okay. So, again, another bit of an interactive game just to um, illustrate something. So, what I've got here is wall, um, and um, we're just going to see sort of visually how we might be connected. So, I've got a list of questions here, and um, what I'm going to do is if you um, are somebody who can answer yes to that question, you'll get the wall, I will pass it to you. And a length between me and that person. You need to hold on to your piece and then you need to pass it to somebody else that's got their hand up. Okay, so I'm going to stop. Sorry? I'll pass it around. Okay, thank you, thank you. So if we start with quite an obvious one, who here has got a dog? Oh, Mike's got a dog. Yeah. We've got a dog, so who I've got a dog. I won't, won't throw it over if we said to. Mike's got a dog. Anybody else got a dog? Nick's got a dog. Nick's got a dog. I was going to go over to Nick. <laughs> oh, <you're> so close. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> what else? Hey, anybody else with a dog? Anthony, you still got a dog? Not really. Um, <laughs> <laughs> okay, who here has got two or more children? Oh. <laughs> oh, now we've got to work hard. Let's just go in front of us. <laughs> yeah, then, yeah. And we pass it across. That's it, hold on to it if you can yeah. answer the question. Keep passing it to those who've got two or more children. We've got two of them, we've got two of us. We've got two of them. Oh, yeah. Is it going to be on? Uh, Jarrod? <laughs> <laughs> I do have a pair of scissors in case it goes, it goes a bit wrong. Yeah. Over here, over here. Oh, lots. Sally at back. Who has been to one of the Disney parks on holiday? Oh, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> right, it goes. That's <laughs> got to go behind you. Tomorrow you get out. Disney Parks. <laughs> so you've got Nick behind you and Hal in front. Oh, Nick. There's an idea for church on the Anthony. Church yeah. trip to the Disneyland Paris. <laughs> Absolutely. Or okay, Florida. and Howard has got his hand up still as well. Who here likes eating pasta? Pasta. 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 I'll be just parking bossing around. I'll be 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 any more passengers? 
See, I didn't realise that Andy didn't like pasta. Well, I tolerate it. You tolerate it? Andy's got hands on his own Oh, Andy as well. We're going all the way back then, actually. Do you want it back again? Well, he must like pasta. Don't like pasta. That's not Andrew. He doesn't like pasta. He doesn't like pasta. He tolerates pasta. I'm with Andy on this one. Yeah, you're not, not a pasta. No. Yeah, you see, all that I've learned, I didn't know before, you're not really a pasta fan. No. <laughs> She's good fan. No, but there's not a There you go. <laughs> That's spaghetti. Okay. <laughs> okay, who here has got blue eyes? <laughs> what was that? <laughs> is it, yeah? I had Power no eyes. idea there was something. <laughs> <laughs> blue eyes. <laughs> Oops! Oh, my dear. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, uh, Joe, just sit down here. More blue-eyed people. Caroline at the front here. Can you, uh, can you, yeah, can you pass it back as well? Um... Yeah, <laughs> no. Got a piece of string. Great, have you got a piece of string? Have you been included? Right. Is every, everybody connected now? Smile. <laughs> We're okay. going to send that to Chris. Okay. You've been a mess since you left. <laughs> Okey doke. Right. right. So that really was just a fun visual way to sort of make us think of connections between us. I mean, a lot of it's just, um, you know, uh, physical. Human characteristics, but I could have gone on and on and on, but I think it might it might get a bit complicated to to unravel. So I'm going to find my pair of scissors and uh, yeah. Cut me free. Pass it forwards. <laughs> So we're all interconnected, um, whether we're connected because we have similar physical attributes, uh, whether we uh, realise suddenly that Andy doesn't like pasta and I just, just Trevor, so there's a connection there, um, or whether it's because we suddenly realise how much we are like a family in terms of the way we support one another uh, and the way that we interact. Um, we are family. Mike. <laughs> I was so hoping that I'd be able to say, please stand while you still have all the water. <laughs> anyway, let's stand to sing a song. <clears throat> Oh, my God. 
Mike didn't actually know this, but I only recently learned that in researching the family tree, um, that actually a lot of those initial individuals that you saw, um, my family uh, on my mother's side originally came from uh, Czechoslovakia, Czech Republic. Um, and yeah, somewhat sadly, I learned that uh, a lot of my grandfather's family uh, didn't make it through the war um, because they were Jewish. And so they were interned in camps and we lost them. So hence uh, the Jewish theme um, yeah. on that song. So our uh, text uh, that was in the notices today comes from Ephesians 2 verses 19. So you are no longer foreigners and strangers, but fellow citizens with God's people and also members of his household. One of the things I really love about you know, being part of God's household is that it doesn't matter where I go in the world, when I meet somebody else who is a Christian, there's an instant connection. I can go anywhere in the world, I can go to church, and there's an instant connection. If I meet somebody uh, in our office and I find out that we share the same faith, there is an instant connection. There is a bond that's there. We are all part of God's household. We are no longer foreigners or strangers, but fellow citizens with God's people. So Paul's clearly told us that we are not strangers, we are God's household. We are brothers and we are sisters together, and as we've explored, we all have those bonds, the things that we associate with family. We all actually have and we're exhibiting as a church. So we've picked out some of those. We've picked out the love, often in families, sometimes that has to be sacrificial love. There's friendship, there's support, there's trust. And that bond lasts a lifetime. We celebrate together births as a family, and we celebrate as God's people when people get baptised and when people come to faith. We love our children. We love our mothers, our fathers, our brothers and our sisters. And we do make sacrifices for their well-being. And I know we make those in the church too. We're also prepared to forgive our families. We don't always get it right. <laughs> Sometimes we argue, we upset one another, but as families we come together and we apologize. <clears throat> Vanessa and I just apologized to one another this morning. We were grumpy when we got up. <laughs> it had been a late night, it had been a busy weekend. Vanessa was working yesterday. And then, of course, we're rushing down to get everything ready, and I suddenly realise I haven't prepared something I should have prepared. <laughs> but we forgive one another. We apologise. As a church, we do the same. We sometimes upset one another. We do something, sometimes with the best of intentions, but we get it wrong. We say something, perhaps, in haste that we shouldn't have said, and we're angry with one another. But we come back and we apologise and we forgive. Jesus said, a new command I give you, love one another as I have loved you. So when we listen to Jesus' teaching and acknowledge that we must love one another, that practical outworking is significant. See, love that just pays attention with words has no meaning. It's the deeds that add meaning to the words. And so really my challenge today uh, really isn't are we behaving as a family, as a church, because we most certainly are. We saw that. It didn't take very long to talk about our things that we associate with family and everybody was standing up. And a great demonstration by George when suddenly he realised actually no, not everybody's standing up. George went over and gave someone a hug. That's who we are. We are family. 
But I've been quite challenged recently when thinking about family. Uh, reading a, a book uh, by someone, I think it's, it's Ed Shaw, um, and he's a, uh, a minister. Uh, he describes himself as same-sex attracted. Um, but he's chosen a course uh, which means that uh, he said, I'm not acting on this. Uh, and therefore, he lives his life celibate, single. And he talks and challenges, really. Uh, he talks about his church as being his family. That is the church that provides the support and the love and the companionship that he can't get elsewhere. That challenged me. You see, it's easy when you fit into that nice pattern, when you are part of a family, when you have your children, you go on holiday together, you celebrate birthdays together, you have Christmas together, you get sent Father's Day cards and Mother's Day cards, you meet up together as a family and you celebrate major events. And there are births which we celebrate and weddings we get together about. There are baptisms and yes, there are funerals. But life changes. And it's not the same for everyone. There are those who, like Paul, were called to be single. There are those who, yes, they had family and they had partners and they've died. And they find them on their themselves on their own. Their parents, their aunts, their uncles have gone. And it's Christmas and they're on their own. And so my challenge really to me was how am I behaving towards those people that I know who perhaps don't have that family around them, for whom we are family. We are their support. <clears throat> Will I welcome them to my table for dinner? Will I invite them round? Will I go over and give them a hug? Will I be the one that's chatting to them, seeing how they're doing? Will I be the one that's calling around to their house and making sure they're okay? Will I invite them on holiday with my family? It's quite challenging stuff. Yeah? It's easy to come into church and, and be family. You know? That's the easy part. We go out, we have coffee, we chat to one another. And then, of course, we go home. And some of us go home to families, and some of us go home to empty homes. So, as we worship today, I want you to listen to God's voice. And I want you to ask yourself, What's God challenging me to do today? How can I be a family to those for whom the church is family? What could I do that I'm not currently doing that'll actually make a real difference to somebody? How would I support somebody who comes into our church who is same-sex attracted and says, no, I'm not acting on that? but then I don't have the family, I can't have the things that most of us take for granted. Listen to what God has to say, and then act on it. Hear his voice, and follow his command to love one another as he has loved us. Mike.
spoke of um, worship and sun worship. Um, if you feel led to bring anything, um, say anything, um, please do. Um, please feel free to um, pray out loud if you, if you wish to. Um, and don't feel you have to stand the whole time. If you prefer to be seated, you please remain seated. Let's, let's begin by standing to sing the first song. <coughs>
wonder if we could perhaps uh, have a couple of members of the prayer team uh, out uh, as we were worshipping. Uh, you know, if this has touched something in you and you need to pray with somebody as we continue to worship, then please take the opportunity to, to pray and, uh, yeah, just uh, support one another uh, as we continue to worship.
I wonder, Andy, if we could uh, have the uh, the video that we've got up. So just maintain a you know quiet listening to God, hearing His voice as uh, we watch uh, this video.
So maybe if you're listening online and you've heard that and you've seen that uh, video uh, and you think, who is this God who runs to me and throws his arms around me and loves me? Then I just encourage you to reach out, contact the church. We'd love to hear from you and to tell you. If you need prayer for anything at all, please do make use of the prayer team. They'll be waiting for you. If you don't need prayer, uh, then please, uh, tea and coffee served outside so we can go outside just to leave this area for those that need to pray or want some time to reflect. Um, so we finish the service, Andy will just put on some uh, music uh, in the background uh, that we've prepared. Um, but I thought it'd be good to end uh, by saying the grace together. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all and evermore. Amen. Thank you. Ricky, can I say a word? Yeah. Uh, as has been well advertised, today is a gift day should you be able to, or should you want to, for the church maintenance work. Um, and I think it's been advertised as well that any gifts are labelled gift day. Uh, James has asked me to stand in for him today and uh, take anything that anybody has got that they want to give. Um, so, thank you. That's it. <laughs>